Coach. Hey, thanks for joining me today on this simple Coach to Coach interview. Really do appreciate it. Um, you taking the time, mentioning that you have a one and a half year old. I remember those days, so totally okay. Um, she can join as well, like if needed. Hey, let's all do it. <laughs> well, she wakes up. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, and uh, I mentioned to you that I just had a real interest. I always had an eye on the CUNYAC and just trying to get someone to sort of talk about it because it is an interesting sort of unique conference, just obviously because of location in the city and, and whatnot. So um, thank you for joining. Thank you for having me. All right, Coach. So if I, um, if I read this correctly, you've been the head coach since 2022 at Yes, yeah, that's correct. Um, Last yeah. season was my first year at uh, Brooklyn College. Uh huh. Um, can you just talk about your soccer experience and and you know your soccer journey and how you ended up at Brooklyn College? Yeah, of course. Um, I am originally from Athens, Greece, um, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, growing up in Greece, soccer is like very big. We actually have two sports that they're very big in Greece is uh, soccer and basketball, yep. um, but my main sport was soccer. I was playing um, till 15 years old in uh, top academies in the first and second division uh, teams. Uh, then I had to make a decision in Greece is a little bit different. Uh, the soccer environment, uh, if you want to go professional, you have to ignore, um, put on side, not ignore, but put on side academics and you know, like focus on that. I obviously wasn't that good to uh, take that path, uh, so I went to college. Um, I, st I was still playing, but on the Sunday league, um, like the fifth division of Greece. Uh, mm -hmm. So I was still playing, and then at one point when I finished my um, degree on finance, I also, I'm also um, uh, on finance for, for many years. Um, I decided there was a UEFA course uh, nearby my house and I had a fellow um, teammate that we were playing in the same team every Sunday and he told me Agath you know you should look into it uh, and it was a time on my life that I was starting my own uh, small business mm -hmm. um, so I had some time to invest it was like it was a pretty intense course but uh, I really want to give it a try I went there from the first day I knew that that was you know, like I, I really wanted to do. So um, I was fortunate to take, it was 2000, that was 2010. Um, as soon as I took the course, it was also a period that in Greece, uh, if you were a coach, coach on any team, you needed to have uh, a license. So I was from the people that having a license gave me uh, an opportunity immediately to get a, a job. And mm -hmm. it wasn't my main job. It was, you know, uh, as, a, as a hobby, but it was everyday thing. So I coached there, a U15 team, a U16 team, pretty high level. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, when I moved to United States, um, I started working with um, uh, training development programs of New York Cosmos. Mm -hmm. uh, it was an exciting time that they were rebuilding the franchise and uh, there was a lot of uh, great people around that I was, I'm very fortunate that uh, I spent time with. And then um, I was doing that for maybe like a few years. During my time at uh, New York Cosmos, um, they asked the head coach of John Jay, uh, it's mm -hmm. another yeah. Uh, Tim Casey Summers uh, yeah, yeah. Offered, offered me the spot as an assistant coach. Um, she knew it was something uh, I, I wanted to try. I want to see um, uh, college soccer, and I loved it. Um, since then, I'm with, I was with John Jay for like six years. In the meantime, my focus, you know, I have uh, my daughter is now is my second kid. Uh -huh. so I have one more, and my focus was to be a full time. Um, uh, employer somewhere but in, in, in soccer mm -hmm. and um, I was for two years at two and a half years at uh, NYCFC I was a coaching mm -hmm. coordinator there uh, for the youth programs um, so I was doing both uh, college soccer and and youth soccer mm -hmm. and uh, right before I took the job with uh, Brooklyn College I was also the head coach for Metoval a club in New York uh, in New York City Mm -hmm. uh, and then a week before the se not a week, 
it was a few weeks before the season started. I got a call um, about uh, the opening of Brooklyn College mm -hmm. uh, from the um, acting athletic director at that point. It was uh, Alex Lang um, to interview about the job. And um, just a little bit of background. You, you, you were interested in CUNYAC. You know, it's a small conference, mm -hmm. uh, but there's a lot of potential. You know, like the schools are in New York City. Mm -hmm. I feel like... It's a unique experience for everyone, mm -hmm. any student that wants to uh, to play soccer. Mm -hmm. um, but it was always something at uh, Brooklyn College. Uh, I don't, I don't know if have you been at Brooklyn College, but I, have, I have not. I have, I for as being as close as I am, I, I quite honestly, I didn't know there was a Brooklyn College until I started this whole channel and learned about the Cuniac and so. You, you will be surprised. This, uh, it's an amazing, we have a beautiful campus. We have our own um, soccer field in campus. Wow. Uh, and which is, for anybody who's been to Brooklyn, which I have, for anybody, like, to say that you have a space that is green and is big um, as a soccer field in Brooklyn is yeah. a pretty remarkable accomplishment for you. Know, so. I know my, my my first. I remember my first time when we played uh, with John Jay at Brooklyn College. I was I've never been at that part of Brooklyn, mm -hmm. and I never seen. And I was like, wow! I thought it was like a Division One or two yeah. program. <laughs> uh, so the potential was there, and for me it was. I wanted. I was the associate head coach uh, with Adzani Clooney um, the last two years at John Jay, mm -hmm. and. Even though I, I love my time uh, at Junze, I wanted you know, like that challenge that yeah. I will start my own thing from the beginning mm -hmm. and you know use the things that I learned from Casey and Adzani mm -hmm. to build my own program with the potential that Brooklyn College has. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was like something that uh, it it was like my so the sole the sell point for me. Yeah. Um, so a couple things. Uh, big fan of uh, Coach Summers at Catholic University. I, she's she's been gracious enough to hop on my channel a couple times, and I'm, I find her to be a very impressive um, coach and with the knowledge and um, and I think originally when she when we talked the first time and she said, "Oh, I I was the coach at John Jay." That sort of led me to, oh, what's John Jay? And then the CUNYAC. And so um, w well, let me ask you something. Is, uh, well, to a third, that's another thing. So Gre Greek and soccer and basketball, I, 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 I lived in Spain during the 80s, and the big-time European basketball player was was it pa Pana, Panagiotis Gianakis? Panagiotis Gian Gianakis, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I don't have the accents in well, the way. Good. Yeah, yeah. Um, he was the big time hoops player in Europe at the time. Um, yeah. um, so anyhow, why the U.S.? What, what made you go from Greece to what you were doing to the U.S.? Any particular reason or you were just like, hey, adventure? No, no, no. It's it's actually not even easy to even if I wanted to do that, uh, it wasn't easy. Uh, my wife is from Long Island, New York, uh, uh -huh. and she's the reason why I'm here. I had like no plans on being in the United States. Uh -huh. uh, I I I really enjoyed my life uh, in Greece um, mm -hmm. and with no plans, even like you know, I didn't even had a plan to visit at some point uh, mm -hmm. United States, but. Um, we met in a Greek island with com common friends. We had like a long time, for a long time, uh, yeah. long distance relationship. And yeah. when it came to the point, you know, where are we going to live? Um, it was, especially with the situation in Greece, you know, like there is the um, yeah, finance, yeah. finances. It just yeah. Uh, it was. It made sense for us to uh, to uh, come in in uh, New York. That's that's yeah. why I came here and. That's why I also started being full, um, investing my time more in soccer because uh, I left all my family. Everyone is, in, is still in Greece, so I wanted uh, the job that I'm going to do to be at least my, my you know, my passion and my love. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, finance is good, you know, it pays the bills, but it, it's not um, um, my love. So it's hard to and, love a business like yeah. that. 
It's all and I, I was fortunate that I had the opportunities to work here mm-hmm. in soccer, and uh, so far everything's going well. So are you now? Are you are you the full time coach at Brooklyn? Is that? Um, as as a coach, we don't have um, you know we we are part time coaches, mm-hmm. uh, uh, but you know you put I, in I the full time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I, yeah. I hope that. Uh, to stay there for for a long yeah, time. For time. Yep, yep. Yeah, I, I worked in finance as well, and I can't say that I miss not being in finance anymore. <laughs> I'd rather serve the church than than. Yeah, I used to go into Jersey City and into the city a ton, and you know, fly around the country. Like it was just not healthy. Um, and it's like everyone's miserable, you know. Like it's one of those visits. Like everybody's just not a nice person because I, I'm convinced. Like anyone who goes into finance, at some point they turn and they hate it. But they're, you know, you're, that's where you're at. So you just learn to deal with it. So, um, all right. So let, let me just talk to you. like. So you you just started. What are and like maybe what are some of the things that you're trying to do at Brooklyn that are a a departure from sort of how things have been going have have been done in the past? Mm-hmm. Um, few things that I want to start doing is um, basically rebuild the program. Um, mm-hmm. We're not. It's over a decade that uh, the women's soccer uh, started and they had early success. Um, but, um, I wasn't there, you know, and I, I, I don't, I don't know what was happening, but, uh, when I took the team, it was a very under recruited team. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe COVID also played, you know, like a big part of, yeah, yeah. Uh, of that. Um, so I, I want to build the, the program from the beginning. Also, uh, there were a lot of things that they, uh, that weren't happening. So, um, uh, we are going to have a first time ever ID camp this summer. Um, wow. Okay. Uh, they never uh, done it before. Um, I'm, I'm sure you know like, they might want, but with the, with every situation before, maybe it was like not feasible. Um, we, I, I I try to to uh, have invested players that they're committed to the team, mm-hmm. um, and you know um, I know it will take time, but that's why I'm full time invested on that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, even if you know like. Um, I'm not. Um, that's I, bef- before I took the job and I had the head coach position at Metoval. One of the things that um, I want to make sure is that I will have this program will have my full focus, mm-hmm. and I'm going to do uh, the steps that we did with mm-hmm. Casey Summers and yeah. Janik Kuti and turn the program around. Mm-hmm. Um, so it, it takes a lot of time. I know that yeah. uh, you know I started recruiting from the. Uh, from the beginning, I didn't have like a list of players that they were even interested. So, the last two years, um, the coach before me and the coach before that coach they stayed only for a year. Mm-hmm. Uh, that means that they didn't bring a class coming yeah. in. And now the class that I graduate and I took the job right before the season started, so I didn't also yeah. bring a class. Yeah, so, yeah. the class that I'm graduating, the senior, it's the the only players that they were actually recruited. To the team, yeah. everyone else uh, was, was a walk-on. Um, so mainly, I, I, I want to build the program from the beginning. Bring the players yeah. in first, and then you know, like slowly add the stuff, like ID camps, uh, get the team more involved with you know uh, building activities for the team, and not just like yeah. focusing when we are uh, on the field, but also off the field. Yeah. Uh, that's my main focus uh, for now. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to invent the the wheel, but just like add <laughs> stuff that other programs think that they are basic, you know, yeah. come yeah, in their yeah. place and start putting these uh, pieces in place for us yeah. in order to have success in the future. Yeah, yeah. I think if you start with the basics, like that's a, it sounds like it's a step up from where mm-hmm. it was. And I'm not mm-hmm. not to say anything about anybody else in the past, but if it's not if those sort of fundamentals aren't there, it's really hard. Mm-hmm. to even be competitive right because you're 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 behind and the recruiting yeah. definitely sounds like it hurt mm-hmm. um uh, kind of jumping all over I, I see you have five six se- five seniors so yes. do you have a, do you have an income an incoming class yes how, how many 
so f for now we have um, six six incoming mm -hmm. freshmen mm -hmm. and uh, I am also in the phase that I'm recruiting from our school we actually uh, we have 15 around 15,000 students in school and I was uh, surprised <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah I was surprised I was surprised uh, last year that you know that uh, when I took the team that they weren't like that many players. We actually started with eleven players, mm -hmm. um, and then I had to take walk on So we have like um, I have open tryouts the first week of our practice, mm -hmm. and we were able to get to seventeen. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the number that I went to um, in our season. But uh, I already I'm already ahead of. Uh, time comparing to last year, so I already spoke with around seven players that they they are in school and they are interested to be part of the team. And you know, I'm still uh, also in process to bring more 23. I'm hoping that uh, we will get a few more. Um, we I need we, we need to bring a big class now and uh, even more uh, 2024. I'm already talking with 2024, and I'm very excited about uh, this group. Mm -hmm. I feel. Um, 2024 is going to be my first uh, class that I have time, you know, enough time to recruit and bring them in. Mm -hmm. um, and it's exciting. I feel like it's a bl it's a blank canvas, you know. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. But we have we, we we have some pieces. I'm happy that we're bringing back, but it's mm -hmm. almost like a blank canvas. You know, it's not like I have yeah. like seven eight players that they they have like a starting spot and then I have to build around them. It's like everything can can move uh, easy yeah. and. Right now, and um, I'm excited about uh, you know what is our future for us. Yeah, I would think if you have a student body in Brooklyn of fifteen thousand, that there's got to be some players there that are like, wh where have you been? <laughs> like, yeah. Right? Like you see them, and you're like, oh my gosh, I gotta believe that. I gotta just numbers, right? Just pure numbers. There's got to be. Yes, yes. Enough players in that pool that you're like, this is this is quality, right? Yeah, even at uh, at John Jay, because this is basically my. F I haven't been even a year at Brooklyn, but uh -huh. the same conference, smaller school yeah. uh, in terms of students, uh, and it was I think like my second or my probably my second year, there was a walk-in player. Uh, she, you know, it was her se senior year, so her senior year decided like to join the soccer team, and she was amazing for us. Was, <laughs> yeah. We were like, where were you all these years? Yeah. Um, and you know, like we were Division Three, we can uh, we, we prioritize the academics is not the like academics, we, yeah. you know, like, yeah. uh, leave academics and come and play soccer. We are we understand, you know, like we have to juggle. Uh, yeah school and life uh, yeah. and priorities academic so yeah I'm hoping that we will get some walk-ons like <laughs> that this year too yeah. maybe I'll walk on I don't know <laughs> maybe I can play um, hey um, just because we talked about it and I'm really interested could you just give a, a you know just a quick overview of the CUNYAC and talk about John Jay which I if I remember um, if I if I re if I remember that like each school is a little different uh, in terms of like majors and focus and that sort mm -hmm. of thing. I think John Jay is a big uh, criminal, criminal justice program. So if you want criminal, you go to John Jay. If you want, I don't know who they are, but if you wanted engineering, you go to somewhere else and one of the other schools. But if you could talk about that, that would be great. Yeah, we, we um, it's very diverse. Uh, CUNYAC is very diverse. John Jay, um, I can speak about John Jay because I was there. It's big in criminal justice. Mm -hmm. um, Brooklyn College is one of the schools at CUNYAC that we have the most majors. I think it's like 150, something mm -hmm. like that, like a, a crazy number. And we actually have a great engineering program that mm -hmm. they can do like two years at Brooklyn and then two years at NYU. Mm -hmm. uh, you have education, education. Um, mm -hmm. Exercise science is like uh, a ton of uh, majors that we offer. Um, so, um, I, I, to be honest, f so the teams that the schools that we have is John Jay, um, Brooklyn College, CCNY, uh, Lehman, York, and uh, Medgar Evers. Uh, we used to have in our conference CSI, College of State mm -hmm. and Island. 
they moved to Division Two. Um, so now um, we are trying the conference. I think we have to find one more team in order to have the automatic bid to the tournament. Yeah. Hoping that soon they are going to do that uh, because because of COVID we we had the pass. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it definitely adds to the experience. And one thing that uh, I I want my my players, my student athletes to experience is, you know, um, being in the tournament. I think not only for uh, for them, for the coaching staff, it's an amazing experience. You know, like the preparation. Like yeah. of course, first you have to win the conference, but the preparation, heading there, the competition is like uh, something that I definitely want uh, my student athletes to experience. Mm -hmm. um, but going back to our conference, we we are small. We uh, with John Jay, the last five years, I want to say, like every year, um, they were, we were doing better, and um, we are able, you know, like to play uh, a little bit more tougher opponents. Uh, but you know, it's it, it was a period the last three years with COVID that we definitely uh, you know struggled the schools uh, mm -hmm. with players, even you know, like us that we are a big school, uh, Brooklyn College. Um, but I think um, the school, the all the the schools are uh, moving forward now, and I'm hoping that you know, like soon we will be able to um, to put much better teams uh, to compete with. You know, we have uh, skyline around. You know, like yeah. uh, conferences that I think we can definitely uh, be challenging. Yeah. Uh, but right now we are uh, a little bit behind um, as a conference because we have yeah. two top heavy. Uh, last year, John Jay and CCNY, they were uh, very strong. Um, yeah. But then you know, like uh, the rest of us drop. But I think hopefully we will elevate. I, there were a lot of changes the last few years. Also, we have a new athletic director, Eric Smiles, that he's very motivated to uh, to put competitive teams. Teams, uh, yeah. And, yeah, I, I hope we're going to do that. Um, mm -hmm. In our conference, it's not just these teams, but uh, these schools are the schools that they have women's soccer. Mm -hmm. uh, we still have uh, Baruch, uh, Hunter. Yeah. They, they have like men's uh, and uh, yeah. women's basketball, but um, not women's soccer. Yeah. Um, I'm sure that if they also um, put some teams that will add some depth in our conference, and hopefully, you know, like. Uh, we the automatic qualifier. You get to yeah. the automatic. Yeah, I think that's important. That's right? the, you, the, gotta, the yeah. you, you want to have two avenues, right? Because mm -hmm. I don't think John Jay made it, right? They didn't. Yeah, they didn't. They lost the, the first round. They, so they, they went to, to. They went. Yeah, they Christopher Newport. Yeah, yeah. That the one. Yeah, yeah. First round. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. were the last three years. Um, we made the tournament and uh, lost yeah. the first round. Because of the rank of our conference, we yeah. usually play like top teams. Yeah. Uh, but it's still, you know, it's it's great uh, getting I, them. Top I, teams. I, I will say, like, I'm just looking at John Jay, and I know we're talking Brooklyn College, but I'm just looking at John Jay, and it, and that's a pretty decent schedule. Yes. I mean, you're not. They're not playing. Rutgers, Newark, Manhattanville. You know, you Jersey City. Going into Pennsylvania, Montclair, like these really are good, good, yeah, really good teams. Like and and a schedule like that, that's like if you could get to that yeah. point, like that. Adjani did, did Adjani did amazing. Yeah, take, like what Casey was doing, and like he yeah. had an amazing season. I, they played also really well. I've, I've seen them like in few games, mm -hmm. uh, but you know, like. The schedule, if you go through the years, it was always like trying like to, to get a little, a little bit stronger. Bit more. Yeah, uh, yeah. And, and I think they, they did a great job. They uh, uh -huh. they played some really good games, uh, and that's that's our goal. You know, we want every year to be able to strengthen our schedule, mm -hmm. um, and uh, hopefully we'll get there soon. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, coach, where? And because I don't know, like, what? Where is your recruiting? base like i mean is it primarily in you're looking for people in brooklyn or do you do you are you looking or will you be attracting folks from you know i'll just say new jersey maybe new york that have an interest in coming into the city maybe a 
I'll just say a New York City light version, right? Because you're in Brooklyn, you're not in Manhattan, right? It could yeah. be a little bit much. Um, so far, um, the students that we, the student athletes that we have, they're uh, mainly from Brooklyn mm -hmm. uh, or New York City, Queens. Um, but my goal, one of the things that you, you asked before, they want to change. They want to start bringing, you know, like out of state uh, players. Mm -hmm. And um, since I took over the program, I've been like, you know, uh, I, th I think you were at PDA. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Ago, that's where. Yeah. Uh, so I've, I've been everywhere. I went down in uh, Jefferson Cup. Uh, mm -hmm. We are everywhere. We want to start expanding. The big goal with mm -hmm. me and my coaching staff is now like being in these places that we will uh, get to look the players. Mm -hmm. And I'm open for for for, uh, for everyone. You know, like I, I don't priority. I mean, prior our priorities are home. You know, like Brooklyn and the local right. kids yeah. pick the best uh, from uh, the schools around. And then you know, New York because of the, the New York State tuition, it's yeah. like much cheaper a little bit more appealing for uh yeah. for these student athletes uh but um i'm open for everyone i am actually um i was really uh, trying to bring some players from maryland um that they were really good and i thought that you know, like immediately they would change uh, our program mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. um but a lot, they decided to stay local so i know mm -hmm. it's it's not going to be an easy job but you know yeah. we have as Gotta i mentioned try. before great a great campus and it's everyone wants to live in brooklyn you know maybe yeah, not yeah. in now especially young yeah. people you know uh yeah. they love brooklyn, yeah. you know you're, uh, in the heart of uh, new york city and uh, it's 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 an amazing place to be i i, I always have a t i have this thing where i just look at the campus map you know like hey what does the campus look like and if you, I mean, the pictures in of itself, it does not look like Brooklyn. Like, to be clear, this looks like your traditional, I'll just say suburban school. You just happen to be, once you step outside of campus on the four sides, yeah. you're in Brooklyn. It's that yeah. remarkable of a place. And I don't, I got to believe, like, people come on to campus and, because I, I, again, just looking at the pictures, you're like, this isn't Brooklyn. Like, if you were to blindfold everybody, drive them there, and be like, hey, here we are on campus, and be like, this isn't, where are, you know, this is upstate New York, or this is where, wherever. Um, exactly. This we, we had actually, though. I had uh, last month a few uh, players that they, a few students that they wanted to transfer from another mm -hmm. school in New York City. Um, mm -hmm. And they were when as soon as they came in campus they were like they were shocked because they yeah. used the campus to be just like one building so basically yeah. they were walking building and that was their actual you know that was the school but yeah. in brooklyn you have like we have a beautiful outdoor area that they're doing like you know um movie nights that they can picnic yeah. and actually was like a movie in front of the library it's like um it's it's, it's amazing um yeah. You have the big quad area. Like, I don't know. Yes. Maybe I'll see if I can put the campus map just because you don't. This is not whatever your image is of Brooklyn is. Yeah. This is not it. <laughs> you yeah. know, exactly. like that's, exactly. I, I, I really do want to get out there. I'm thinking, you know, if I can, like, just you sort of make a business trip of it just to go because it is so unique to it is so unique. It is so unique. Let me know when you are uh, in Brooklyn. I will yeah. give you a tour. We, yeah, we yeah, have a small uh, pond with turtles and koi fish over there. Oh, my gosh. Like, you guys are totally going suburban. <laughs> <You know? laughs> That's great. Um, hey, uh, did, did you have – do you do spring practices or did you do spring practices? I'm assuming you did. Like, you had a normal yes. spring session? What was yes. what was sort of the focus of that? Uh, it's it's more of, um, to bring the team together again, um, mm -hmm. you know, create that bond, and um, it's a very small group that is coming back. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you know, I want to know that you know we are uh, we are, we are building uh, with them, and we are focusing on um, you know we really appreciate what they did last year, and mm -hmm. you know make sure that they are ready um, for the fall. Uh, we are working in the background a lot 
to um, to prepare them during summer. You know, we 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 are about to give them like the summer pack. We mm -hmm. we wanting them June to, to you know to enjoy summer and then when they come back um, start. It's not a mandatory, obviously, but you know, like start preparing themselves for uh, mm -hmm. uh, for our preseason. Um, and as I said, we, we are trying to do things that we will bring the team together, even if it's not like a spring, uh, you know, spring season. Mm -hmm. That you know, we'll have like a breakfast together, or you know, like we're going mm -hmm. to. Uh, yeah. We were watching like the Champions League semi-final mm -hmm. um, somewhere in campus with pizza and stuff. Um, so it's more like to create that bond, to create that family environment that they feel mm -hmm. that we are another support group uh, for them as students in college rather than you know, like we're mm -hmm. just like a, a team um, and I was actually I don't know if you was I, I love basketball and I was uh, listening to the Denver Nuggets winning you know mm -hmm. like the championship and yeah. a lot of things that the, both teams they were talking about was like creating that family you know, again, yeah. environment and the experience that they, they share. And that's true, you know, um, you everyone wants to win. You go, you, I step, you, every time we step on the field, we want to win a game. But at yeah. the end, it's not, you know, like what we want, but the, um, the relationships that we create, the things that yeah. we went through. I think that's the most important, uh, you know, to these students that they come and build the program, because for me, these are the, the, the players that they're going to bring to uh, build the program, um, to have that positive experience, and you know uh, they're going to be ambassadors for our for our college. Yeah. And our alumni are going to say, hey, you know, Brooklyn College is doing something yeah. well over there, and you know, yeah. hopefully, we will, uh, that will help us also in uh, the recruiting process. Anybody can build a team, right? You can you can get 15 players to have a team. But a real program, I think, goes beyond that, right? And it, there's something to it that the players feel connected to you, to the school, to the um, to each other, and almost like a, a higher purpose to just playing the game. And then the game part, the winning and losing, that's something you can't necessarily control. But if you can make this atmosphere like this very – welcoming culture and people want to be a part of it that's when you think the program takes off or at least mm -hmm. in my experience talking to everybody so mm -hmm. um hey last last question for you and then i'll let you get to your daughter <laughs> hopefully <laughs> hasn't been screaming um hey, like what all right so having just started you're 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 in a building phase it's obviously i mean we're talking it, it's going to take a while to to you to get to a point but what what are your what goals would you have that you could share for the fall? Like if you mm -hmm. can if you can get to the fall, like what would be what would be some things you'd be like, man? If we accomplish this, we're we're well on our way. Mm -hmm. um, that's a great question. Um, so from last year, um, when when I took the team, I, obviously my my main focus was to be able to. To, to put the team together, uh, and I know it sounds like maybe for someone maybe sound like a little bit extreme, but uh, I want to make sure that we have the numbers and we don't drop any games. Um, and when that happened, I want to make sure that uh, we will create that you know like environment that they will come and they will want to come and practice. They will want to come to go in games, and no matter the outcome of the game, we will be still positive. We will try to play our game. We'll try to go back again and you know, like next game sit from the beginning without affecting us what happened before. Mm -hmm. um, my goal is to build on that. Uh, I'm not going far away thinking, you know, like I want to make like, I definitely want to have like more wins than, you know, like we had last mm -hmm. year, but that's again, not, not the priority. If, if we are playing our game and we, we are competitive and I, I want to see progress and I want to see the players that we have, uh, the incoming freshmen and uh, the core group that I'm bringing back from last season to keep, you know, like getting better, uh, because th these are the ones that you know, like. These are going to be our base. You know, like every year we're going to make additions that they're going to make us uh, better. But mm -hmm. um, I'm truly invested on in them. I am super excited for for the freshmen that they're going to come and you know, like develop them to, to the players mm -hmm. that we want them to be. Um, but I'm not. We are. 
I'm not thinking we are we are not going to sacrifice anything, you know, um, yeah. in terms of uh, how positive we are as a group um, and in, in, in of the experience that we are going to have uh, in order to win these games. I'm sure the wins are going to come because, you know, we are at this phase that the year before they had like one win. We this year we had two wins, but because we have a small conference, actually three with with the York game. Um, if we finish top four, we are in the in the top, yeah. in, in in our conference uh, uh, post season, and that's you know, like yeah. a goal that uh, we have. Um, so in, in terms of on the field are, are that and keep like developing in every 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 aspect. Uh, mm-hmm. We are very excited with you know the direction that we're going. I'm uh, my coaching staff are very passionate. I'm bringing back. Uh, Daniel Vergara, he was my assistant last year, and mm-hmm. I'm bringing uh, a new assistant, uh, Amanda Williams. She's super. Um, she she played for us last uh, season, um, so we're very excited, you know, like about the future and where mm-hmm. this program is going to be. Oh, that's awesome. Um, all right, Coach, I'll let you get back to it. Do appreciate uh, you taking the time. I wish you all of the success, and to you, your ladies, everyone. It's a diamond there in Brooklyn that um, I think, uh, you know, if you're looking for that city experience, there's probably no better place than Brooklyn. So um, thank you. Um, hopefully one of these days we'll see you out in Jersey. Look for usually the really the best referee. That's probably me. Um, and uh, yeah, but hopefully we can connect again. Um, really do, really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And you are invited in Brooklyn. Next time you are there, come. And I'm no going sleep to- till. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I, it's not far. I mean, I mean the way the crow flies, like it, it, it wouldn't be far. I, I definitely have to figure out a way to get up there. Like I said, I do business in the city, so I could easily do that. If you take the subway, the subway has like a Brooklyn college stop. So oh, yeah. I broke you right there. Thank you. Yeah, that sounds great. All right, coach. All right. Nice Thank talking you. to you. Yeah, Thank great you. talking to you. Bye-bye. If you like this show, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss future episodes. You can also find me on anti-social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks. This is a message from my chief marketer.